Hi guys, it's ODA here and welcome back to another video. So today is a once again another national day that I'm out here filming a video for. Now today's national for heat today, so I'm going to get my stove set up and all my outdoor cooking gear that you see on this channel set up. We're going to cook some lovely fajitas. Just been using my David Fryer's roll top style bag um, for cooking lately and for keeping all my ingredients in. It's an amazing bag and that's what it's really designed for and it does its job really good. So for fajitas I've obviously got some chicken, there's two mini fillets in there, however I'll only be using one. And then in this tin, isn't actually fudge, it is pepper, so I'll be using that obviously to go with the fajitas. And then I've got some cheese and oil. So all we're going to be doing is cutting up the pepper, cutting up the chicken, chucking it, and now I'm going to be using my cast iron skillet to cook in. We'll put that on my gas stove, then we'll finish it off with some cheese, and then I've got some wraps, and then we're just going to enjoy some lovely fajitas. Okay, so let's get started on the pepper first. Just using my bivy table here and a chopping board and my open now. I'm not great at cutting peppers, but all I'm using here is a half one since there's only me. And yeah, I've cut this off all, but all I've done is removed all the white stuff and I'll remove some more up here and then we can cut it into little pieces and little slivers ready for the fajitas. So there's the peppers, just put them on the side and next it's on to the chicken. As I said earlier, I'm just going to be using one of them and then I'll give my other to my mum and she can cook that up inside. I'm going to use my Tranju cutting board for meat and then I've used this one on one for peppers. So just open this up. There, I'll cut that one and then I'll give that inside. Okay, so the peppers and chicken are all prepped. Now I'll be using my cast iron skillet to cook, cook the fajitas. So I'll just get it out. This is an amazing piece of kit. Big heavy duty. This will be its proper first go. Then I've got some oil in a pot here. Just pour a little bit in. That's a bit too much, but doesn't matter. Lid on. And then I'll start off, obviously, with my chicken. And then out of my pot, I'll get my foldable MSR spatula. And then I've washed my hands, by the way, in between touching both things. And then my handle. So I'll just coat the chicken in the oil and then we'll get my gas stove set up we'll just cook just outside the den area here in case you're wondering i don't cook in the den because it's artificial grass on the floor and i'm worried about it get her setting on fire and then with the wooden sheds either side and we've got this small like patio area outside with these slabs just outside the den so why not use that there, all folded out, three of it's all out, and then we'll turn that on. I'll get my heat proof gloves on and then cook the food. Okay, so there we go. There's the food. Just whilst this food's cooking, there's two things I would like to talk to you guys about. Now, the first thing is the den area. I'm just outside the den area here cooking the food, and as you can tell from the intro, it's changed a bit. We're trying to make the background of the den look even better for these YouTube videos and even more outdoorsy. This chicken's doing great. I just need to stir it regularly. And so that's why all those pallets and um, bamboo sticks or whatever it is that is in there 
door to make this shot look even more outdoorsy and brilliant. So yeah, that's the first thing. I hope you like all these upgrades we're making and they'll probably continue through the, out the videos. And the second thing is very recently I've got Instagram. My Instagram for my YouTube channel here, ODA, called ODA underscore Outdoor Adventures because that's what ODA stands for. And yeah, that's my Instagram. On there you'll see more behind the scenes and just a close look in, and just a more and just uh, some more look into my outdoor life and how much I love the outdoors that I show on this channel. Also, I like to show on there and you also just find out more about the gear I use and all that great stuff. So if you, I'm not asking you to follow that, but I'm just letting you know if you want to see that and just see more from ODA. So that will be linked down in the description, but this chicken's doing great. Now it's time for the peppers. In with the peppers. And then we'll just cook this all together. The peppers need a bit of time and the chicken needs a bit longer. But this is coming together great. The food's coming along great. It's still got a bit longer to do. But it's looking great. And whilst that's cooking a bit longer, I'm just going to prepare my wrap. So I've just got my table here, got my big plate because why not? bit of mayonnaise just sprinkle around and then when the chicken's done and peppers and fajita mix we'll put that on with a bit of cheese okay so the chicken's looking done now so i'm just going to take it off the heat but that'll continue to kind of like cook and stay warm in the residual heat and now it's time to assemble the fajita so just to check whether it's cooked i'll get the biggest piece and cut it open and there it's white so I know that's cooked so yeah if it's pink then it's not cooked but because it's white it is so I'm just going to bring this down here I should really have brought a spoon but just some chicken and peppers and things I don't like to load it too much because then it, it just all falls out few more pieces of chicken and then these cheese strings are actually really nice with something like fajitas so you just open it out and then I'll tear off a couple strands and just lay it over and yeah they just when they work right they just tear off and then they're really nice have with something like fajitas or I've had it with breakfast wraps before and yeah really nice so just wrap it up and there uh, forget the chicken and that looks delicious that's delicious we still have some leftover chicken and onions and things and so all I'm going to do is transfer it into oops into this bowl and then our family can enjoy it and i can enjoy it with more wrap and all that good stuff so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed seeing me cook some lovely fajitas using all my amazing outdoor cooking gear and that skillet that's the first time i've actually cooked something proper in it and it was delicious so thanks for watching today's video please let me know down in the comments what you're planning to do for national fajita day we've got some more fajitas my mum's cooking inside i won't have that many because i've obviously had these i'll eat some more of those leftovers and all of that and also please let me know down in the comments below your answer to a question i've got that is what type of meat do you use for your fajitas we typically use chicken and that's all i've ever known it used by i don't know whether that's a uk thing though because when i googled it i heard people use beef but what meat do you use? Because I would love to learn about different types of meats and trying it with different types of meats and ingredients. So yeah, what type of meat and what you're planning to do for National Food today. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. All I've got to do now is clear away and then we can enjoy some more fajitas. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in another video. Bye!